Hello, my name is Sally Gibbon and I'm the owner of the trustisyou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. I want to teach as many U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 uh, earners, and also U.S. investors how to save taxes. It's tax season. Think of how much money you could be saving if you didn't have a spendthrift trust. Do you want to learn how to, uh, what the rich do? The Spendthrift Trust is legal, copyrighted in the IRS tax code 643B. The Spendthrift Trust is going to save you in four very important ways. It'll save you federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Keep your information 100% private. You'll pay no judgments if you get sued and you won't have to do the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act paperwork for the Treasury Department. Now. Most people have never heard of this, and there's a reason for that. There are over 1 million attorneys in the United States, and only 4% of them are trust attorneys. There is a law book that trust attorneys study in law school called Scott and Asher on Trust, 5th edition. It has an entire chapter dedicated to the Spendthrift Trust. The full name for the Spendthrift Trust is Irrevocable, Complex, Discretionary, Non-Grantor, Spendthrift Trust. You need these five elements to make it a a titanium vault. Irrevocable. It goes from generation to generation. 97% of all trusts sold every year are what's called a family trust. That's a revocable trust, and it dissolves after the people who have started it have passed away. It doesn't save you taxes, doesn't keep your information private, doesn't keep you from uh, making old judgments uh, uh, frivolous and does not keep you from doing the, uh, to, the not having to do the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act. The only thing the family trust does is avoid going through probate. The, the spendthrift trust avoids probate, avoids inheritance tax, and keeps going from generation to generation. So irrevocable complex. This trust can hold money from day to day, week to week, year to year, a month to month, year to year, um, a, a decade after decade. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023. So they were hold, they can hold money for centuries. Air, vocal, complex, discretionary. Whatever the trustees decide, it, it, uh, the uh, beneficiaries cannot go to court and fight it over it. They can, they can do with a will. Non-grantor. This makes the trust 100% private. When you, when you start the trust, you're going to have someone who's not a beneficiary sign up as the settler, the person who starts the tr- uh, sets up the trust. They'll be the trustee for five minutes and then sign themselves away. This is not a speed bump. If you can't find someone to do this, either myself or somebody else at the law firm will do it free of charge for you. And then the fifth element, the spendthrift. This has gone in front of the United States Supreme Court on two different occasions, and both times the Supreme Court has favored uh, favored with the Spendthrift Trust. This is as legal as legal can be. If you just because you haven't heard about it doesn't mean it's not legal. So let's get into this. Again, it's going to save you certain federal taxes. The Business Spendthrift Trust is for all U.S. business owners and 1099 income earners. It will save you at least 90% on your federal taxes every single year. And in 43 states, if you get everything into the trust, it will save you uh, state income taxes too. In 2022, I saved 92% of uh, federal income taxes and did not pay North Carolina state income taxes. Beautiful thing. I only paid 8% and I was happy to pay 8%. I just made a presentation to a group today and one, the one person who volunteered to look at things, we will save him and his wife over $79,000 for the next 10 months in 2024. $79,000 is his money to pay off his mortgage, buy a new car, uh, hire a new assistant, uh, give to a charity, go on a family vacation. No one's telling him how to spend that $79,000. I have a new client and several more from my presentation today. The beneficial spendthrift trust is for all U.S. investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're gonna not. You're gonna stop paying the following five taxes: capital gains on profits, interest income, dividend income, rental income, and royalty income. So here's the story: all the taxes are between 10% to 37% 
uh, depending on your tax bracket for on your profits. Capital gains, uh, short term, are for uh, auction houses, tax liens, wholesaling, fix and flipping. I personally got in trouble in 2019 with uh, short term capital gains, hence the title of my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. I owed the federal government $79,000 in capital gains because I wholesaled seven properties in 2019. Yeah, I had to take out a HELOC on my house to do that, to pay them back. Long-term capital gains are if you are selling uh, uh, for a year or more, and it's 15% or 20%. It could be you're selling an investment property, you're selling a baseball card, you're selling a business. I just I am helping a gentleman who is selling his share of a business. He's being paid a quarter of a million dollars, and at 15%, he'll save $37,500, and at 20%, he'll save $50,000. That's his money to do with what he wants. Interest income. This is for passive investors, people who might, who might be in a REIT, a retire, a real estate in, a, a, a REIT investment, people who are doing um, subject to real estate. Do I have notes that are uh, charged interest income. Or if you're doing the birth strategy, if you're doing creative financing or seller financing, you're going to pay interest income. Oh, by the way, Forex investors, listen up. You get taxed twice. Interest income and capital gains. You need the Spendthrift Trust. Dividend income is for anyone in the stock market. If you are a stock market investor, if you are doing uh, day trading, if you are doing uh, swing trading or any uh, uh, commodities trading, futures trading, options traders, you get taxed 40% on profits for a year or less and 60% on profits for a, a year or more. You need the Spendthrift Trust. Rental income. I don't care if you have short-term rental like vacation rentals, Airbnb, traveling nurses, or if you have um, five doors, 10 doors, 20 doors, uh, multifamily, commercial properties, or apartment houses. Yes, you can take depreciation. Yes, you can take uh, cost averaging, but please remember your information is kept private and you'll pay no judgments. What if the renter's dog gets out and bites a child? What if someone trips and falls down the staircase? You don't have to worry about being sued. With rental income, uh, you know, I, I just helped somebody who's doing rental arbitrage save over uh, $49,000. That's their money to put it back into real estate. And then royalties. Royalties are anyone who's an actor, uh, an author, a musician, a playwright. If you're in the NFT world, NFT crypto, NFT real estate, NFT artwork. If you have intellectual property, if you have a patent, if you have mineral rights, because the trust is copyrighted, I, and I have both the business trust and the beneficial trust, I don't have to pay any royalty income taxes. I'm inviting all U.S. investors, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. Um, and U.S. business people, if you want to find out how much you can save on taxes, please set an appointment with me. At my website, www.thetrustisyou.com, there's a free video. You can download that and watch it on your cell phone or on your computer, and then you can set up a 30-minute tax breakthrough session with me. I'll take you out to NerdWallet, a free site, to show you the formula, and then when I'll send you the information. I'll send you three articles from Forbes magazine. I'll send you two pages of case law so you know that this is uh, truthful. Again, my name is Sally Gimmon, and my goal is to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors save as much as they can in taxes. It's tax season. Figure out how much you're paying in 2023, and that's how much you'll be saving in 2024. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful night. And that's how much you'll be saving in 2024. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful night.